Hey, hi, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? Sorry, I'm eating this piece of candy. <laughs> it has been a while since I posted a video. I've had a few people ask me, well, where you been? What you up to? Are you still with Prime? Yes, I'm still with Prime. I'm still here. I'm still a lease driver. Um, I am, I actually just came back off of vacation. I was on vacation for two weeks. Um, I went, it was fun. I flew from Orlando to California and I did the whole touristy thing. Went to Hollywood and Venice Beach and Beverly Hills. Did the whole touristy thing for a couple of days and then jumped on a cruise off the coast of California and went to a couple of islands in Mexico. And it was nice and that was for about a week. And then I flew back to Orlando, um, Florida, for those of you who don't know. Um, and then I drove to South Florida, I went home and I was just gonna jump right back on the road, but even after a week of being on the cruise and being on the vac vacation, I felt like I was still burnt out. So I was like, and I miss my mom. I'm the youngest of five and um, this is my mommy. <laughs> so I miss my mom. So I decided to go ahead and go home. Um, oh, and if you hear any noise, I'm in the, in the bay getting my truck worked on. Um, I'm currently right. I'm currently in Springfield right now. So I'm back on the road now, but I went home and I was just going to stay for a couple of days because I was only like two and a half hours away from home. But I went home and then I was ended up staying for another week. I was burnt out, guys. I didn't know. I didn't, um, I didn't know I was so burnt out. You know, when I stay out on the road, um, I'm out for a month or longer. Like the longest I've stayed out was almost, it was three and a half months at a time. And, you know, I stay out and I'm finding that I'm getting burnt out a lot easier now. This time I was only on, out for like two months and I was, I was burnt before I went on the vacation. I was out for two months and I was, I was just burnt. So I ended up staying home for another week and I enjoy every bit of it. And I didn't know I was so burnt out because the whole time I was there, I was like, I'm not ready to get back on the truck. I'm not ready to get back on the truck. Like, I'm like, oh. So I was I was so burnt out. So I just decided to go ahead and take that time. Now the gamble with that is, you know, I'm a lease driver, and this truck payment is due every week. So when you're not working, you know, when you're not running, that truck payment is still piling up. So being that I was out for two weeks, that truck payment piled up for two weeks. Um, and so when I got back on the road, I was in the hole, and I literally chose to stay home. And go in the hole over getting back in the truck. And you know that that speaks volumes to me right now. I'm currently deciding what it is that I want to do. <laughs> um, I think that I am reaching my peak or of being an over the road driver. I'm kind of I think I'm kind of tired of over the road. I'm really thinking about asking for something dedicated or regional, you know. I'll ask the company first to see if they don't have it then I think that I just I might go ahead and leave and do something out of Florida um because I'm I'm I just feel burnt out I'm tired of the over the road thing um being home this time because before I'm like yeah you know I don't have to be home I like being out like I really do so regional will actually suit me very well but I would like to be home a little more often you know, um, I gave up my, I don't have an apartment, gave that up, you know, I don't have anything like that. So all of that is just, you know, I gave that up when I started trucking because I wasn't going to need, I don't have any kids. I don't have, you know, those kind of responsibilities. So staying out on the road was nothing for me and it's still nothing for me. I don't mind that. Um, it's just like, I feel like I want to be home now, you know, I want to be home. I want to get in the bed. I want to cook. I want to do stuff that you can only do at home. You know, <laughs> I, I, I miss that. I miss a uh, social life because, you know, out here on this truck, we, we're just rolling and rolling and rolling. We're up. We're driving. We're sleep. We're, you know, we're living life in the background. And, you know, it's 
it gets a little tiring sometimes. I want a social life. When I was home, you know, I got a chance to go out and have fun and mingle and all of that. And even when I was on a cruise, y'all, I was just meeting people. <laughs> it was this lady who just attached herself to me and she was buying me drinks all week. Like, I didn't have to buy no drinks. I won a little karaoke contest on the boat and she brought her friends and she was buying drinks. She came to support me. <laughs> That's my auntie, y'all. <laughs> I got me a new auntie on the boat all the way in California. And she was just a trip. It was her and her family. They were there with this white family. And she was like, come party with us. My son is getting married. <laughs> Guys, you got to meet Amanda. She just, I don't know. She just attached herself to me. And it was a blast. Uh, I said all that to say that I'm, I miss, you know, being social and just having fun. And you don't get a lot of that on the truck. You you don't. You you can make it happen, but you gotta. It's it's very few and far in between to me. So, and I just miss it. And um, I'm considering going either. I don't really want to do local because you know local. You're home every night. I would prefer regional. You know, I would still want a sleeper truck if I can. Even if it was the smaller one, I'll downgrade. Especially if I got a place now, I'll just put what I need in the truck and then. I don't need that much room, but right now I got so much stuff, y'all. Oh my god, it's another thing that's getting on my nerve. Cause I was the type of person I wanted a tiny house. I love tiny houses. Tiny houses are great. I love them. I just got obsessed with them. But that was like towards the beginning of being on this truck. <laughs> now it's like, okay, where I'm gonna put this? Where am I gonna put this? Like I can get the smallest thing, like a sheet of paper and bring it on this truck and then I feel like ah oh. <laughs> I feel overwhelmed like where I'm gonna put this I don't have anywhere else to put stuff and I hate the clutter I hate it it just it just drains me <laughs> and then I clean up and I clean up and it's just like I'm just pushing stuff from one corner to the next it's not really any enough storage for my stuff so and I've been getting rid of stuff like I really really have I've been getting rid of stuff I've got stuff I like I just want to put everything under the every thing under the bunk and just close it and forget about it <laughs> that's how i feel like everything's been getting on my nerves so i feel like it's time for a change you know and i'm i'm still um i'm still weighing my options i'm not the one that'll jump into something really quick you know i'll think it out i'll think it through i'll plan it out but i am considering going regional um i prefer regional but if local does the job it does the job um, but that's, I've been out here. I've been out here and riding. And another thing, like, I don't feel like the money is where it could be for the time that I spend out. I don't feel like the money is consistent enough to me. And of course, as a lease driver, um, you do get paid a percentage of the load, but it's like the load you get are not consistent. Every week is up and it's down. Like on good weeks is great. Um, your check is 2000 plus and on bad weeks, you might be in the hole. Like, and to me, it's been more bad than good. You know, it, I, I haven't necessarily just been in the hole, but um, it's not been, you know, a substantial amount to do what you got to do in life, you know. <laughs> so I, I want to change. I'm looking into that. I would take any any advice, any companies that you know of out of Florida. I do want to, you know, work out of Florida. I prefer. But if it's any, you know, in any of the lower states, because I, I like the southeast region. Um, might do Midwest. I'm not opposed to it. But I am. I love the southeast region. So any um, ideas or any advice that you guys have. I'm still new at trucking. It's only been like a year, what, a year and a half. year and something like that. You know I'm still new. So I'm still learning a lot. Um, I've also been considering just staying here with Prime. So that I can get my two years in. You know, I'm not naive to think, oh, you know, I know everything. You know, I'm still learning and I very well understand that. So if you guys have any advice or any, you know, companies that I can look into or, you know, just sharing your story with me, just hit me up, you know, and and let me know. Um, I'm going to do some more videos. I know I say that. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm terrible with this. I'm going to do some more videos and, you know, try to stay in touch Uh. Um, more frequently but until my next video guys god bless